Hello Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of January 25th to the 31st, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to, of course, as always, remind you to hit that like button down below as well as leave me a comment about your situation. And um, if you haven't yet, do hit that little sub um, subscribe button and the notification bell. And I meditated on your energy overall for the week before beginning. And the message that came through was the week that changes your life. The week that changes your life. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we're first going to start off by pulling a couple messages from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. And keep in mind, my friends, this is a um, general weekly read for the sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and now I'm adding um, North Node, given it's all about your, um, pa your path and your purpose in this lifetime. But um, something new this week as well that I'm starting for the weekies. Um, I've decided to let um, Spirit choose a song from Shuffle uh, for your week. And for you, funny enough, the song that came up was Show Some Respect by Tina Turner. Show Some Respect by Tina Turner. I'll leave that in the description box below. But I mean, there's a line in it where it says, why settle for second best? That I was um, kind of guided to and drawn to when I was listening to the song for you. And um, I mean, it just feels like, Leah, you're feeling quite confident this week, feeling maybe a little bit feisty. Um, demanding the respect from people that you may not have gotten in the past. We will see. I'm a Leo Sun, so this should be an interesting week. For our lovely Leos to begin this weekly read for the 25th to the 31st of uh, 2021. Ooh. We're just going to go with those three. Actually, one second. Very interesting. I don't know if I should read all four or just two because they have such good messages for you. We're going to start with these two and see where it takes us. So first we have a persistent drive. See what you desire and move toward that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. Whatever you've been working on or aiming for, trying to manifest, trying to create in this lifetime, Leo, um, it feels like you've been working your ass off, have you not? Um, and Spirit's coming up with this card to remind you to keep uh, being persistent, keep that drive within you moving. Um, don't stop. I mean, of course, you know, when need be, implement self-care and take care of you, but they're saying whatever you're working towards is worth it. And you're starting to see that. And it says it's time to zero in on your purpose. And it's funny that I mentioned North Node in the beginning, all about purpose. And I feel like you have had a grasp on your purpose recently, or if not, um, moving forward, you're definitely um, getting a better idea as to what that is for you. And then take note, your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what it is what is being offered. Yeah, it just feels like there's a lot of noise, excess, unnecessary noise around Leos these days as you're trying to buckle down and um, change your life for the better and move forward in a better direction. Um, but they're saying, do what you can, even if it's a little bit difficult at times, to quiet those external voices, quiet, um, find your own little sanctuary um, where you can sort of be at one with your own energy and spirit, and you'll be surprised as to what clarification, what blanks are filled in in those kind of moments this week. Exciting. Not to mention that a little bit of quiet time um, and alone time will be truly beneficial for you, even if, um, <clears throat> regardless of what happens. Let's continue. We're gonna do some shuffling and pull seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. Alrighty, Spirit, for our lovely Leos to continue this weekly read. Thank you, Spirit. Don't want to switch these. I mean, this one did come out first, but sometimes when they fall uh, where it should, I feel like it might need to go there, but Spirit's correcting me. 
keep them coming for our lovely lines for this upcoming week. Oh, yeah, there's that feistiness. Like, show me some respect. I'm a damn Leo. People better watch out. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little dirty. We're going to pull the last leaf from the top of the deck. I hope I am speaking loud enough for you guys. It is early here. Um, ooh, interesting energy. Knight of Wands, my friend, at the bottom of the deck. You are feeling passionate this week, marching to the beat of your own drum, seeing how it's paying off, and watching your life change before your very eyes as a result of you being true to who you are on a soul level. Damn. Damn, who doesn't want to be a Leo this week? All right. Yeah, the world, my friend. Your, your world is changing. All right. Before I get ahead of myself at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Oh, I'm so sorry. We have one more to pull. Oh. I was thinking of a six card spread at first. Um, interesting because um, it's usually laid out the other way, but it's interesting how it was. We're going to leave it as is. So we're starting off on Monday with the Knight of Swords. And so the week starts off and you are um, feeling like going after what you want in this lifetime, deciding, you know what, whatever I've been working my ass off on, being side by side with this persistent drive, um, th there's a sense of recognition and appreciation in the air people, um, a sense of respect for Leos these days. And moving into this week, there, that is, there is no exception when it comes to that. And it feels like that is lighting a newfound fire under your ass to keep doing what you're doing, excuse my stomach if you can hear it, to um, accomplish what you're meant to in this lifetime, to, um, like it mentioned, to, it's time for you to zero in on your purpose. It's time to make that happen. As you begin a week that once again is literally changing your life forever. Not to be taken lightly. Um, but I do see you accomplishing a lot on this Monday. I mean, the nights are all about movement, action. Uh, Six of Swords. And so you make your way to Tuesday. And you decide there's something, a situation you need to walk away from. My friend, this could be a, a work situation popping back up. This could be a past um, love situation coming back in. Trying to uh, tell you they've changed. For whatever reason... This is a day where you up and leave a situation that you never or may not have fully expected yourself or didn't fully believe you had the, the power or the strength within you to to leave. To walk, to simply turn your back and be like, I'm heading in a better direction at this point and you're no longer aligned or the situation is no longer aligned with me. That's powerful, Leo. It could be a bit of an emotional day, especially at the end, because you're walking away from something that um, you had an emotional attachment to at one point in your life, even if it was a while ago. <sighs> Meditate on Tuesday, Magician. So you move to Wednesday and we have the Magician card, all about manifesting, my friend, all about getting in the right mindset, optimistic mindset, being connected to your spirit guides, uh, the universe and co-creating with them, making your dreams a reality deciding that you're a more powerful being than you give yourself credit for at times and your manifestation skills are snowballing. Your intuition is snowballing. So therefore, um, you're being reminded or open. your eyes are opening up finally. You're getting a grasp on the fact that possibilities are endless, especially at this time, as you make your way into a luckier period uh, for Leos. And it feels like you are literally a manifesting machine at this point. And Spirit saying, don't stop. Do not stop. And uh, Four of Wands, and you may also develop some more spiritual or um, psychic or some sort of gifts. Some sort of skills are enhanced on this day by Spirit um, as you're manifesting and co-creating and trusting the process. Like the true line you are. Four, four of Wands, excuse me, to move it along. And so you make your way to Thursday and there's a situa situation making you feel boxed in, whether it's a person, in a relationship, a, a living situation, a job, you are feeling boxed in and you're no longer 
okay with it. Were you ever though? You're being reminded that um, being aligned with the Knight of Swords, everything you're going after, everything you're being persistent and driven when trying to accomplish it, um, especially if you're trying to grow a business, a project, um, a, a hobby, like get something off the ground, you know, build a career, for, a career for yourself, make a name for yourself. It's all to kind of improve your life as a whole, to eliminate or um, better certain situations that make you feel trapped or um, restricted. Being side by side with this take note card, they're saying, when you're feeling this way, pay attention to what's affected it. Pay attention to who you spent time with. Pay attention to um, the places you decide to spend your time, um, where you decide to put your energy and resources, as well as um, try to quiet external noises at this point, because this seems like a very prominent time for spirit in the universe to come in with um, messages, clarification, if you will. Seven of Wands. And so you make your way to Friday and um, it may feel like you have a lot coming at you, whether it's people, clientele, everyone recognizing how amazing you are and trying to, um, you know, utilize your skills to help them, you know, to benefit their own lives, if you will. They want what you have, whatever it is in your business or project or your career in general. Maybe even people just respecting you and being like, I want your attention, Leo. I want you to talk to me, Leo. Tell me how it's going on. What's going on, Leo? Tell me all about your new life, Leo. You want to know all about your changes, Leo. And you're like, oh, please. <laughs> you're like, oh, I get it. I love it. You, I'm amazing, obviously. Let me dust it off my shoulder real quick. But it makes you feel a little bit on guard. It's a bit much. Because Leo's have been in her hermit mode a lot lately. Correct? That was a bit of a rant. Bear with me. Being aligned with the Six of Swords, they're saying... Keep walking away from what no longer works for you. Keep walking, um, sailing away from people, situations, and um, whatnot that are no longer aligned with who you're becoming, who you're evolving at this point, Leo. It may have a lot to do with this person from the past or the situation from the past. I feel like there's, um, maybe it's all about in your mind too, at, to another, um, another level, where this is representing all of your thoughts and confusion and str you stressing yourself out and feeling like I can't come to a final conclusion about something. At the end of the day, they're saying, take a deep breath, put your guard down. You're meant to be in the spotlight, Leo. This is a week that changes your life. As you walk away from certain things, move towards better things for yourself and um, demand an, an amazing amount of respect from those around you. Eight of Wands. And as soon as you accept that, Leo, I feel like it's around the weekend beginning on Saturday where we have the Eight of Wands and things start moving quickly for you. Your business starts to pick up. Um, multiple messages come in from the past or from people you just met who are interested in uh, pursuing you. Potential jobs uh, coming in. You, it's just like all eyes on Leo in spirit saying this is the way it was always meant to be. You underestimated your purpose in this lifetime and now it's time for you to be one with it. It's time for you to accept how much you're going to achieve in this lifetime. Things are going to start moving very quickly. So take a deep breath and center yourself. Being aligned with the Magician card, they're saying, <sighs> things are going to move in quickly and all of these messages coming in are part of your manifestations recently. You've been asking for these things. So don't question them. It feels like a time where you may have to think on your feet. And then we have the Four of Swords. And so you finish off the week feeling like, wow, this was an overwhelmingly, um, overwhelming week full of so many changes. And so you decide, I'm going to take a step back. <clears throat> Excuse me. You decide, I'm going to mull over a few things in my mind, figure out what's working for me moving forward and what's not. Um, this having to think on your feet, this fast pace leaves you feeling maybe a bit burnt out or a bit like everybody step away for a hot second. Let me gather my, my thoughts. Understandable. Let's continue. We're going to um, actually finish this off by pulling a couple messages from the Find Your Happy deck. For our lovely lions, our lovely Leos to wrap up this weekly read. Thank you, Spirit. We got two. There is a purpose to my pain. Yeah, 
the things you've been through, the things you, the emotions that resurface you have to deal with and walk away from situations and moving towards the new. Remember, my friend, there's a purpose to it. You're growing, you're learning, you're becoming even stronger than you ever were. And um, at the end of the day, you're meant for greatness. And this is a week that changes your life. So accept that this is for the better. It's a blessing in disguise. And I play with the world. Yeah, I mean, it could get a little serious recently. You may be feeling very wrapped up in whatever you're working towards, plus the emotions. So get, um, have a little fun this week. Try to, in the midst of all that's going on, play with the world, have fun. Enjoy what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So Leo, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and do subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.